Well, I guess over the last week, you know, we've, we've seen a number of, number of interesting things. One is that uh, there's obviously a consensus that the magnitude of the problem of chronic disease, NCDs in India, are substantial and growing. Uh, so uh, just recently, you know, something on the order of 65 million diabetics uh, going to increase uh, their current trends to well over 100 million diabetics pretty soon. So uh, the magnitude of the problem is substantial. So I think people have a, a common understanding that there is a substantial problem. Second, I think, is there's a common understanding that the uh, capacity of the prevention and delivery system that's currently in place is really not well equipped to deal with that problem. Uh, and I think third, uh, if you look at the gap between what's needed and uh, in terms of system delivery and uh, patient treatment, uh, I think that there's growing interest in really coming up with you know, a blueprint, some broad thinking uh, nationally about a comprehensive uh, health care reform uh, framework that really focuses on three issues. How to do a better job of preventing the growth in chronic disease. How to increase uh, disease detection rates so that we can clinically intervene earlier. And really building a uh, primary care team-based uh, uh, care management system that really deals with patients that have not just one, but multiple chronic conditions. I think that's the other realization is that uh, a, a lot of times we tend to just categorize and look at silos of chronic disease, whether it's hypertension or diabetes and so on. And the reality is, is that most of the patients out there that have a chronic disease have several chronic diseases, ranging from mental disorders, diabetes, uh, other cardiovascular risk factors, and so on. So having a, a system in place that really effectively engages patients to keep them healthy, uh, I think, is something that is the third part of the, the stool that needs to happen. 